Nadine Doris, I thought I'd let you know about her future career. And Nadine Doris is going to, I presume she's going to withdraw. Uh, like, um, like, 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 like her idol, Boris, she's going to withdraw from the Commons and go into media proper. I thought that's actually what she'd been in originally, though, before, of course, she was penning these amazing novels. Um, Liz at, uh, the, Liz at Downing Street, Liz at the Four Downing Streets, uh, Liz coming home, all these, all these wonderful novels. which reflect a completely different tone to the sort of tweets she puts out on a regular basis. And so last night she replaced Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan, she thought she could replace Piers Morgan. And she stumbled and was basically incoherent. Even in the bit where she was following auto cue as the programme presentation was being was being shown as the order of events was being presented by her. It was completely incomprehensible. But I suppose that's probably what it would have been like in the DCMS committee, except when Nadine Dorries was saying things that uh, were not entirely truthful. So I think her future lies, well, her future lies. We, we, we're just going to leave that at half a sentence. Her future lies. I mean, if, if Liz Truss can be summed up by a cabbage, no, no, no. Um, if Liz Truss, uh, uh, that's a bit cruel. If Liz Truss can be summed up by a lettuce, then I think it's perfectly reasonable that Nadine Doris can be summed up by half a sentence. And, and I don't want to be unfair to Nadine Dorries, La Dorries, because sitting in a TV studio trying to deal with auto cue, trying to deal with other people questioning, trying to remember people's names, Richard, John, Jeremy, Christopher, whatever it might be, is difficult. It is difficult and I am very sympathetic. I've tried it. I, I would go back to it, I, I, I suppose, but at the moment, at the moment, Piers hasn't asked me. So, uh, sadly, he's asked Nadine Dorries. I've, I just find it extraordinary that Nadine Dorries, this person who is trying to, or who has tried to destroy Channel 4, the BBC, who has done absolutely nothing in a year of tenure as the Secretary of State for Digital Media, Culture and Sport, that she should be presenting herself as some sort of News anchor. I, I, I think even that word is mispronounced. No, Nadine Doris is half a sentence and some sort of anchor, but I don't think it's a news anchor. I am astonished. I am astonished that this is the direction she wants. She said she was going to go back to writing books. At least then she would be muted. And we'd only have to open up her oeuvre once a year when she finally gets into print. I, 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 I find it, I find it disturbing. I find it disturbing so the, that here we've got somebody who is actually planning to follow in the footsteps of Michael Portillo. How? How? I don't understand. Anyway, half a sentence and a lettuce. That's what we've got left over from during the last few days. I could stock a fridge.